Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Owl's Legacy. We are on our way back into the catacombs to uh, quite realistically, maybe, <laughs> finish off exploring them. Assuming we can do that with our current set of abilities. But we will definitely go as far as we can. I never made this one here a warp point, and it seems kind of silly to do it. Even though I do have uh, as many tier stones left over as I do. But yeah, that's really unnecessary. I mean, how many more times are we even going to return here? And, you know, I might very well end up making a... Uh... Well, that's interesting. And also, lighting all the torches. I don't think I missed any torches uh, looking through my, my video from last time. Uh, now, we cannot... Oh, we can. Never mind then. Oh. Another one of these quote-unquote puzzles. Oops. Ah, didn't quite make it. Oh. But yeah, I mean... I just do that and that's it. No challenge at all. Beat up this thing, whatever it's supposed to be. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously going to make it deeper into the catacombs. And... Uh, might very well end up creating a save point. Oops, we already were on the right skill here. There we go. Some extra health. Um, some save a save point deeper inside, just in case we ever need to return. Hmm. I mean, it's good to see that those guys can't break these barriers either. Although I guess it would be convenient if they could. Hmm. The setup here made me think for a second. Whether this could be... Well, I guess without the Eternal Bubble, we wouldn't, we don't have a way to return this way. Once we drop down here, right? So, or Unlimited Bubble or whatever. If we didn't have that, I doubt we could make it back up this way. Right? So, that gives me hope. Maybe more than I... Maybe more than it should. That we might end up getting the uh, Wall Breaker upgrade here. Right, because obviously, with that, we can easily make it back out. But without it, we could awkwardly jump back, platform back over these crumbling platforms, and then use the unlimited bubble to rise back up. But yeah, without that optional upgrade, there's no turning back at this point. So yeah, that's typically what that means is that we're in for a new upgrade. That's what my, you know, decades of... Uh, Metroidvania experience are telling me, and also I have no idea why I didn't attack. I pressed the button, but nothing happened. That's cool. Okay, That's, that was a mutual hit there. This is hmm, kind of weird looking, isn't it? Also, I'm actually maybe drowning? No, I think we're gonna make it just barely. That was close though. Hi. Are you friendly? Uh, I, I mean, at least you don't look like you're gonna attack me. I'm, I was gonna say non-hostile or, you know, but neither non-hostile nor friendly seem to exactly... Yeah. Seem very fitting. What the heck are you? Gastrid? Uh, okay. Many come here seeking answers on how to find the strength for getting past hardships, such as stone walls. I will tell you what I, what I would tell anybody. Buckle up! What? Really? Buckle up. That's it. Okay. Uh, did I actually end up getting the... Yes, I did. Okay, so I could... Oh, those fish moved in a very weird way right there. I think one looked like it was swimming backwards for a moment there. Okay, uh, I also lost a lot of health here, which I really didn't need to. Um, I do have the floating block, so I could have just used that to... Uh... No, that's more like it. Uh, so I could have used that to very easily and safely... Uh oh Speaking of easily and safely, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna play this safe. I didn't play it safe! Ah! Why did I jump up all the way? I... Honestly, I can't even tell if I did it on purpose or if I just accidentally hit the... You know, press the button a split second too long because that's that kind of jump where you 
have to really only touch the jump button ever so slightly in order to not fully make the jump. Anyway, we... Well, we can just speed through here. Through all these ro rooms I didn't anticipate that guy turning around when he did, even though I really should have, because that's what they do when they touch that kind of slope. That's okay, though. Here we go. And here I can actually finally do this and just, you know, not concern myself with all those evil carnivorous fishes down there. All right. Well, obviously. Okay, didn't mean to dash there. I got a little bit too excited with the jump button. There we go. Obviously, whatever that is, I mean, that kind of bracelet there. Also, we can just do this. I don't know why I was so hell-bent on finishing off this enemy with a... Uh, with uh, lightning to get the extra health. Really wouldn't have mattered. Um, yeah, anyway, this, uh, I mean, most likely this gives us whatever we need to smash walls. And the Norse belt, okay, that's not what I would have expected. Emits a warm, powerful feeling around your waist. Oh, buckle up. A belt, I see. Okay. Your staff can now break down stone walls. Does it look more powerful? I mean, I guess the staff itself isn't changed at all. Hmm. I expected maybe a different, you know, animation. But, well. I'm assuming we also deal more damage now? I guess we can test that pretty easily. But most importantly, of course, we do one, two. No! It still takes three hits. Huh. Interesting. So, it's not necessarily that we hit harder, we just know how to hit in order to break stone walls now, which, you know, fair enough. Now that you have some more experience under your belt, <laughs> I'm sure you can tear down any obstacles. Thanks. Okay, let's just ignore those. We have visited the screen down here briefly, and there is... Oh! There is actually something. Hold on, wait. I did not catch my breath. There we go. So, let's see if this is worth it. It actually is, yeah. Okay. I was half expecting that to be uh, just a red herring. Oh, hold on. We want to light all of these, just in case it does something. Just in case lighting... What? Oh. Oh, oh, right, they shoot. My god. Not quite... Uh, I don't know. Performing at peak performance here. Performing at peak performance. Yeah, see? It's exactly what I'm talking about. But I guess we will make do somehow. I am making progress. And, you know, collecting things. Um, well, that's fine. All right. Didn't land in the giant spike pit. That's good. Huh, so I guess we will not be fully exploring the catacombs at all. Because there is that weird section to the bottom left, which seems to require me to be able to slide or shrink or something. And that is certainly not something I foresaw. Or, yeah, I definitely don't remember any other situations where that kind of upgrade seems necessary. Um... I mostly, for the most part, don't even need to worry about those guys, but, you know, better safe than sorry. It seems like, yeah, at this point we're just on our way back out. And fast, actually. Well, honestly, this this uh, Norse belt upgrade allows us to do so many things. Okay, we're still looking for the teleportation thing. Right? That has to be a thing. And we still have room for two uh, for two items here. One of which could, for example, make it so that uh, jumping while ducking makes you slide. And that would allow me to, to uh, travel through that narrow passage to the bottom left here of the catacombs. Even though I haven't seen an obstacle like that anywhere else in the world, it might, it might come into play in one of the remaining dungeons. So that could definitely be a thing. I mean, I just don't see another way to possibly get through there. Unless we just... I don't know. Un unless we either learn to break spikes, which I 
which I don't see being a thing, or yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what else it could be. Um, not saying that it couldn't be anything else, but that seems like the most straightforward solution to me. Anyway, there are so many places where we can potentially tear down walls um, for various rewards. I just don't remember where almost all of them are, needless to say. Um, I mean, we could, we can definitely now uh, access the final of the four uh, main dungeons here. And I wonder if I should just do that first, because, I mean, I could, I part of me really, really wants to start, uh, you know, doing another tour of the world and just collecting miscellaneous things uh, that are hidden behind these uh, breakable walls. And I know there are a bunch of things, but it's really only collectibles, right? I mean, I guess there might be a couple of uh, petals. Although, petals, I mean, they're not that common. Oh, there's... hmm. Yeah, one thing, actually, is uh, this, this upgrade does not allow me to break through breakable floors, and we've definitely seen those. Huh. Um, or rather, for example, one prime example, I guess, um, is in Mila Village. Right? There's the... Uh, there's um, clearly something... There's clearly a lower section to that village. I guess we can just quickly head on over there and and take another look. But yeah, obviously there is... because that's one of the rose petals. And there is this here, which clearly looks breakable, you know? And the map tells us that there is a way through here, but it's not like I can do a smashing attack or anything. Falling, attacking, attacking the air, up, down, nothing... nothing works. I just attack regularly and that is that. Uh, you know, you'd think that if she just hit the ground with her now improved staff attack, that would do the trick, but that's not something we can do, unfortunately. So, oh, we also never had this toolsmith or whatever do anything for us. Pronto workshop, fix about just about anything. Fences, racks, paint jobs. I did see some, oh, we did see that house. Yes, I was actually thinking of that, but I did not make a connection between that and this guy at all. It, I, I swear I'm talking to this dude completely by accident. Huh. Um, I did see did see something earlier. Tumble down little house. Would that do? Perfect. I'll have it renovated the, in the blink of an eye. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm already done. Excuse me. Uh, you haven't even left the workshop yet. It's a trade secret. I can't give it away or I'd be out of business. Don't believe me? Go check out that house, pronto! Uh, would you kindly remind me where it was? Because I, I'm not entirely sure I know where that was. I just came across that randomly. I think I have a vague idea. Huh. Nothing beats the sensation of helping your neighbors really, really fast, like before they even ask. Um, oh god. I think it might be somewhere in the highlands? Maybe near the back entrance... To, uh, to the Sylvan Temple there, but I'm not sure. Actually, the more I think about it, the less sure I am. Or is it in this little dead-end section left to the left of here? Um, I think what I'm going to do is probably uh, pause recording here and try to find it because I'm really not sure, and I don't want to just, you know, include minutes of me just walking through old areas. Uh, possibly in vain. So, yeah, I'll just uh, pause recording, find that little uh, now no longer um, uh, God, I don't know. Ruined house, I guess. What was the word she used? Or the, the expression? I don't I don't remember. It's, it's fine. So, uh, yeah, I'll find that and uh, we'll check it out and hopefully it's going to be worth it. Well, that didn't take very long at all. Um, I did make it over here because I figured this was the closer place, although I didn't really think it was it. I just couldn't remember what was here. But there is a house. I don't think it's the one we were talking about. Also, this is not repaired, clearly. Hmm. Yeah, we saw this... Uh, ...before. And, you know, obviously we can hit these rocks and it seems to do something, but we don't break them. However, that being said, there is a switch down there. 
that... Oh, oh wait, we can get that. But not through any any of the major upgrades that we got, just by virtue of having this here. Huh. Okay, so what's that gonna do? That just makes those rocks blow up. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. What are you talking about? Just to make sure there's nothing in these, nope. Or this one? Nope. Oh, okay. I'd prefer not to drown here, although, well, I'm not going to. And even if I did, it's not a huge deal. All right, okay, so this is a completely different house, but I guess maybe I had in, somewhere in the back of my mind that there was something house-like over here. Oh, that's not what we need. Okay, it's just for a pearl. Fair enough, I suppose. Right. Hmm. Pearl, orb, I don't know. I keep calling these different things, but... Uh. Alright, well, that was not what I was looking for, but still good. Let's see here. That brings us up to 92% of the secrets for this huge area here. That's pretty promising. Hmm. Well... I guess I'm gonna keep looking around the... Uh, or go ahead and look around that other place I was first thinking of. And see if, uh, if I was maybe right about that. Hopefully, because other than that, I'm not really sure where else I should look. So, uh, well, we'll see. Well, what do you know? Maybe my memory doesn't suck as bad as I thought it did. No, I mean, I know it sucks. Just in this case, I happen to be right. I mean, at first, I, I my first hunch that was that it was uh, my first hunch was that it was in this area, but then, you know, when I thought about it, huh? But could it really be the screen connecting to the Sylvan ruins? Would that have both the entrance to the ruins? Um, or a, a temple, rather, and that hut. And yes, as it turns out, that is exactly the case. The sign, this sign and house have both been fixed by Resnick. If you need anything fixed, visit my workshop pronto. Right. Well, oh, this is a proper little thing. Oh, I, I really hope this chest at least has. Oh, you know what? What I wouldn't mind. Uh, three rose petals. That would be, would be cool. Um, although I don't really see that being a thing. But if it's three orbs. I'm gonna be totally okay with that. Just not three, not three uh, tears again. Don't get hit by that on the rebound as well. In fact, I'm gonna s try and see if I can regain some health, just in case. And this doesn't seem like it's gonna be a particularly hard puzzle or anything. Oh wow, <laughs> really? Like not at all? But I guess it's a little bit more interesting than just having the the chest pre-unlocked there. All right, one, two, really? Huh. Don't know how I messed that up, but sure did. One, two. All right. Nope. Ah, gotta love it when... Oh, okay, that guy happened to drop health. Gotta love it when <laughs> the enemy turns around and his hitbox changes and I can no longer hit him. Um, and then that happens when my spell clearly hits but doesn't deal any damage. Alright, awesome. Wait. We don't have a key. Well, that's unexpected and kind of annoying. Wait. Really? That was just a fake out? Okay, sure, you got me, game. Sure got me. I guess that's that was kind of neat. <laughs> I need a little touch. It's really great. Come on, that's not so neat. Uh, I mean, I, I guess it's it's fine. It's it's nice that the game is being very generous with these tiers, but you know, you really don't need that many fast travel points. Oh well. I mean, there there couldn't possibly be enough tiers hidden throughout the game to allow you to turn literally every save point into a war point, right? That's just not possible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12. I mean, I can get pretty far with the ones I have. So, maybe? Huh. Now that I said that, I really wonder. Hmm. Anyway, uh, well, we have that now. But we still have about 10 minutes 
more left in this episode, so... What do I do? Obviously, this wasn't really anything, uh, or something I had, I foresaw doing at all. But, uh, it was a nice little detour, nonetheless. Uh... I guess I'm gonna make my way over to the southeastern dungeon, southwestern, I mean, and, uh, open that up, and we can take a sneak peek in that, into that place. How does that sound? Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Rather than, you know, do a world tour trying to find miscellaneous uh, little collectibles. Because obviously we're still missing some traversal upgrades, and I guess I'm gonna do one final uh, clean sweep, ideally. Clean up run uh, to, you know, once we have everything. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, we are by the entrance. And if I remember correctly, this this was just a matter of yeah, needing to be able to both survive underwater for a for an amount of time and also being able to break these. I guess technically the water breathing isn't even necessary, but obviously you uh, pretty much guarantee to have that before you get the. Uh... Well, actually, that being said. Are you guaranteed to have that before you can break walls? I mean, now that I know where it is, I guess... Oh no, you, you definitely do need the Caracomb Key in order to access the uh, the Norse Belt. But... Um, yeah. I don't think you needed anything else, really. I mean, the light source helps, but even that is not necessarily uh, required. Well, anyway, we're here now. I uh, completely didn't pay attention to what this place was even called, so let's just quickly re-enter here. All right, ID's keep. ID, okay. Hmm. Guess we're gonna find some kind of way to deal with those doors at some point. Actually, since it is a little bit... Well, it's not really hard to get here, but a bit of a walk to to get to the entrance. So I'm just going to put one of my copious tears there. Hmm, that purple stuff dripping, dripping down from the ceiling there seems kind of bad, but... Yep, just hurts you. Okay. Oh, wait. So we're going to flip things upside down here, perhaps? I mean, we had time shenanigans, so I guess gravity switching shenanigans wouldn't be too unusual or, you know, unexpected at this point. Hmm. When was that pathway down from the warp point? Don't remember that at all. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna keep going. Maybe just explore as far to the left as I can, which is about this far. Except, of course, we can go down. Might as well. Oh, right, we can go through these, though. Hmm. I've definitely seen one of those things, and I know exactly where. Uh, no, it's not inside the dungeon. Oh, interesting. I'm... Huh? Did I just hear a timer? Oh, that was just my spell refilling. Okay. Interesting. So can we deactivate that? No. Once that's active, it's active. That's really interesting. Um, now... I can tell you exactly where I found that, if, in case you don't remember. Uh, and it was not in this dungeon, but uh, up here at Cloakie's Bridge. In the uh, lower one of those three vertical rooms. Um, yeah. Interesting. I'm, I, I could swear I tried shooting lightning at it, but then again... Honestly, it's been a while since I... Huh? Oh, I'm, I could press up. And that switches gravity, and those deactivate that. Okay, gotcha. Seems relatively straightforward. The fact that the camera does not, or the, yeah, the camera perspective does not change. It's a little bit, uh, ooh, hold on though. Okay, so it's, it's purely for you. It's not, and you press down to, when you're when sitting on that? Okay, that's kind of trippy. <laughs> so, bubbles still rise up, even while you are, well, gravity is reversed for you. So it's really not so much gravity reversing, but you just suddenly cling to the ceiling or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but... 
Yeah. Then I guess we ha only had to activate that once, and now all of these patches are active? Um, what's actually strange is that there are not even uh, any interaction prompts with these now. Which made me think at first that maybe they are not active, but, well, they sure are. So we just had to flip uh, to hit that switch once, and now these are going to be active everywhere throughout the dungeon, presumably. So that's really interesting. Um, I guess we know that the boss is up from here, so I'm just going to start exploring downward first. See what that does for us. Oh. Okay. Didn't even see that. Oh yeah, okay. And it's actually visible, but only barely. Just a couple of pixels moving along the ceiling there, and I somehow got hurt. I was still looking at the ceiling monster, not expecting any any danger from that guy. So this is a real door, not a fake. That's cool. Oh, you know what? Ah, I missed it. Crap. Wait. Unless this is interesting. Do I need to do this? Mm, hardly. No, not at all, actually. Not at all. There's the key. Okay. What's down here? Another path. Oh, so this is... Wait. The path past the key leads to a rose petal. Well, that's interesting. Oops. You can just go up here, and obviously this is where you shoot from. Making that very easy. That should stay open, yeah, those are not time switches at all. Hmm. And the, yeah, I just travel backwards basically. Which seems kind of unnecessary, but it's also not a huge deal, so whatever. Whoops. Okay. Well, I needed to switch gravity again, so there's that. And we do that, that opens that, and now I return again, and that gives me access to both the key and the rose petal, so that's cool. I mean, this one is free, and I guess the rose petal takes a little bit of work. At least if you if you don't want to get hurt in the process, but even that is really not a problem at all. Okay, so far, this is all very straightforward and very doable. Tombstone here. Uh, here we want. Okay. We want to block here. And we want to be standing on the ceiling. Shouldn't that be pretty easy? Actually, okay. I guess what the game wants me to do is start a bubble, uh, reverse gravity, make my way here, and wait for the bubble to hit that. Although I wonder if I could have couldn't have just done this. You know, created a bubble here and walked over. I don't know. Maybe the timing is extremely tight here to prevent that from working, but either way it's not a hard puzzle at all, so whatever. Uh, now, huh. Right, we did collect that key, but I didn't even use it up there. I could use it here, but I'm obviously expecting this uh, dungeon to provide the exact number of keys that are necessary to open all the doors. So it really doesn't matter one way or the other. I'm expecting there's another key off to the right here. Um, I'm gonna save... This looks like it's very likely to be the... Yeah, actually it is. It seems to be the bottommost row, right? On the same level as the bottommost row of the mire over in the southeast corner there, so... And it's pretty far away from the entrance, so I might want to put a warp point here, just... It does. It does say tell you the uh, overall number of war points, I guess, or possible war points. This is 16 out of 45, so that's a lot, uh, which does make me believe that there is probably not enough tiers in the game to turn literally everyone, every save point, into a war point. Not that that's necessary, but um, yeah, uh, just an observation. Anyway, um, this seems like a pretty decent uh, war point, and also a pretty decent. A point to wrap up the episode for now. Uh, yeah, actually, we literally just hit the 30 
minute mark. Well, at least on my timer. I guess I did pause in between, so it's not super precise, but close enough. Um, so we're going to continue from here. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. Uh, we're going to continue from here next time, I should say. Uh, we, uh, yeah, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.